Okay, time for some bells and whistles. How's it going everybody? Dean Ellis here from DarTech and on this tutorial we're going to go through installing some extensions. Now we've already done one extension called EXT Plora um, and the process is exactly the same. So what I'm going to do with this tutorial is just go through and uh, show you the different ways of loading up um, some extensions and where to find some extensions. Um, Alright, so let's get stuck straight into it. Shouldn't be a, a long tutorial. Uh, and we'll uh, we'll get stuck in we will uh, we'll get cracking I suppose. So with uh, Joomla 3.3, they've done uh, a, a, a really good update on uh, uh, finding uh, on the ability to find extensions. Uh, and the best and the way to do it is we click on extensions, extension manager, and the new one that they've put in is install from the web. Okay. This never used to be here in the earlier versions of Joomla and you used to have to go to the Joomla extensions directory. Let me just go there and show it to you. Okay, you used to have to go here and go and do a search for for what you want to do, say um, forms. You can click go. It would come up with a list of uh, list of uh, extensions for you to play with. And uh, you go from there. Now what they've done instead of that, instead of you going to here and having to download it, then re-upload it using extension stuff, they've actually done uh, allowed you to install directly from the web. So there's no more downloading that you need to do. Um, sometimes you will because some some extensions you won't have to won't be able to find. So um, the first one we we'll go to, let's go forms and search because you always want to make a contact us form. And there's a whole pile here. A lot of them are pretty good. Now you notice there's some little icons here, okay? There, um, the green, the C, the M, and the P. That tells you that it's a component. It's also a module, and it can it has a plug-in feature. The the yellow uh, dollar sign means that you have to buy it, okay? So that's pretty straightforward there. Um, a lot of free ones there. Now the ones that I use most of all is this one here RS Forms Pro yes you have to buy it um, but it's the support that you get is uh, is second to none um, and is and it is a an excellent um, extension uh, compatible with pretty much everything and there's no issues with it so I'm going to install that now it says purchase and download I already have a version of it okay so uh, I'm not going to buy another version what I'm going to do though is uh, we'll go back and we'll search for something else, shall we? Something that I know is free. Um, how about we go and do instead of that one, we'll install that one a little bit later on. We go and do uh, another extension called All Videos. Okay, All Videos. Here it is. Here, don't mind these broken window, these broken images. This is a, a Joomla thing that's just happened recently. There's usually an image there that tells you what it's all about. Um, don't worry about those. Um, all videos is a uh, it's an extension that a plugin, as you can see by the little icon, that allows you to um, play any sort of video uh, from uh, anywhere on the web. On the web, um, so YouTube videos you can play on your site. You can have your own videos on your server if you want to take up that much space and play it straight from your server. Uh, there's a whole range of things you can do with it. So we'll just click on we'll use that. So we'll click on that. Okay, there's the detail of all videos. It uh, goes through and explains what it's all about. Uh, and once you're happy with it, you go install. Okay, and we confirm the install like we did with the XT Plora and sit back and wait. Okay, and it's there. Now, to see where this, um, this plugin actually went to in your site, you go to extensions, plugin manager, and there's a whole range of plugins uh, in here. Okay, and there it is there. If we do a search for all videos and hit search, it should pop up. There it is there. Now notice it's not enabled yet. So what we do is we'll click on it and 
there's some settings in here. So this is where I'm not going to go through and do these settings. I'll do this as a separate um, tutorial for each extension. Uh, but that's where it is. It's in your plugins. So let's close that. Um, and you knew it was in you knew it was in a plugin because when we went to install it, when we went to look for it, I'll just pull it up again. It was a P for a plugin, right? Extensions, plugins, plugin manager, plugin. Okay, and that's what we do. So that's uh, that's how we up install it. Now, uh, installing from the web, pretty easy. Now, there's another uh, way you can do it. We can go upload a package file. Okay, and this is where you download an extension into a, as a zip file or a TGA file uh, onto your own computer, and you can actually upload it from your computer into your site. So we go um, choose file and, and this is where you, you see my deep dark secret here. Um, there we go there. Extensions, you notice that I actually have a whole lot of extensions here. So I'm going to go to RS Forms uh, and I'm going to load com underscore rs form 2.5 to 3.0 which is the latest one we open it up there's the name there and we go upload and install and there it is in there and uploaded okay again this is a component so if we go into components we'll see rs forms pro it's all loaded up and ready to go I won't go in there i'll do this as a separate playlist for uh, learning how to use this um, and that's where that is. So the next one, um, what else do I have? Ah, another good one that we're going to install. Um, pretty sure I haven't. No, I haven't. Um, is a WYSIWYG editor. Now remember, way back early in the piece, I said we're going to install a, a new WYSIWYG editor. Um, we're going to do this one from the web because I know this is here. If I go JCE hit search um, there it is there we're going to install JCE now this is this is a um, what they call a, a what you see is what you get editor um, and it's a very very good editor and it has a lot of wonderful features that makes life so much easier when you start creating articles and uh, and whatnot so we just click on the install button confirm the install and there it is we've installed it so that's uh, that's wonderful um, I'm just going to finish up there. I'll put a complete list of um, extensions that I load up as a standard package, plus some uh, other ones for specific tasks like e-commerce and um, mail lists, etc., etc. Uh, and I'll let you know if they're paid for. Uh, all in the description, so you can go through and download them or do what you want to do, and upload them into your your website. Okay, and from there, I mean it's all pretty straightforward. The process is the same, um, and we'll go from. We'll go there and we'll, we'll do our next tutorial on um, setting up articles and modules and menus and whatnot. Um, I'll pick one because it doesn't matter what which ones you do, you've got to do them all anyway. So uh, that's it for uploading extensions. Pretty simple process. Um, like I said, there's a list down below. Uh, take what you need and I'll do tutorials in each and every one of those. Please uh, like my, uh, this if you like this video, I've got something out of it, like it and subscribe to my channel. That would be great. I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye for now.